the interview with the team. Ooh, the team interview. Time to worry. Not. I'm Jeff Alpin, the big game hunter, and I coach people and organizations to be more effective. And here I want to get you ready for the interview with the team. Now, whether this is done before you meet with the manager or after doesn't really matter. I think when you're being scheduled, you're probably getting a call from HR to set it up. So here's what I want you to do walking in. Number one is do some homework before the interview. Reread your resume. Look at the backgrounds of the people you'll be meeting with. So when HR calls and say, we'd like you to meet the team, who are they going to be? What's their background? You ask them that and then go to LinkedIn to see if it's congruent. Get a couple of questions ready. Be on time. This is real easy stuff. And if you are late, because sometimes there are events outside of your control, accidents, transportation breakdowns, what have you, you know, apologize on the way in. Next, be friendly and smile. Make eye contact when you talk to folks. Um, it just creates a warmth in the room. So as you shake hands, look people in the eye uh, and connect with them. Deal with their personalities. Play to the personality. Now, you'll start to notice if some of them are a little bit detached. That doesn't mean you have to be detached. But it just basically means, although you may be friendly and have a smile on your face, there's a professional quality that they're trying to demonstrate right out of the box. Be ready with questions. I mentioned that earlier. Pay attention. Listen to everyone. Give everyone the impression of your interest and curiosity. Eye contact is important. So you may be at a, an interview or on a Zoom call with multiple people. And thus, you always want to be looking at them in the eye and appearing attentive. Looking down as I'm doing now, not good. Not a good look. And thus, remember the most important lesson I can give you is that they want to trust you. Because after all, you're going to be a peer of theirs. And even if you're being brought in as a manager to them and you're going to be meeting the people you're reporting to, or th that will be reporting to you, they want to trust you as well. And as much as you may be evaluated for your knowledge and skills, trust is the key element here. They want to believe that if you're going to be a peer, they don't have to worry about you. You can do your job well enough that no one's going to have to rescue you. If you're going to be their manager, they want to like you and feel as though that they can learn from you and grow with you and that you have their interests at heart. Again, trust is huge on team interviews. Be professional. Don't cross the line to inf informality. Uh, or extreme informality. I remember a time where I had someone on a final interview, and this was with a manager, and the manager asked the question, and he was like one of eight people in, the, in, the, in North America who could do this job. No exaggeration. And he crossed the line with her and said, I'll tell you about that when I get on board. Rejected. One of eight people. She couldn't tolerate it. So don't cross a line to... to, to um, being too informal during the interview, match them with um, personality. And lastly, afterwards, ask for business cards or some way of letting them, uh, being able to send them a thank you email. If you're doing that on Zoom, you might just simply ask them, could you put your email address in the chat so I can send you a thank you note afterwards? People are very gracious about that sort of thing. It conveys interest and you, know, you want to appear mannered. If they have a choice between someone who they believe wants to join and shows manners and someone who doesn't give a darn, who do you think they're going to prefer? Hope you found this helpful. I'm Jeff Alpin. My website is TheBigGameHunter.us. Go to the site and go exploring. There's a lot there that can help you in the blog. In addition, if you're interested in my coaching you with interviewing, because I've got a huge amount of material that I consolidate to help people interview effectively. You can schedule time for a free discovery call or schedule time
for coaching. I'd love to help you. I offer the discovery call so that you can trust me <laughs> in the work that I do with you. And you have a chance to check me out and I to confirm that I believe I can help you. Lastly, subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Click the small icon in the lower right of the picture of me in the upper left to get notified whenever I release something new. Hope you have a terrific day and be great. Take care.